Now we'll do the back wheels. Now that I look at it, it's probably easier to take this RC car uh, controller and battery box module out before we take out the back wheels. Because there's two little snaps that hold the back wheels in place, and they're actually underneath this module. So I'm just going to kind of look at this for a second and figure out how it's attached in. The kind of nice thing about these is uh, they've really tried to limit the use of expensive things like screws or glue. So everything pretty much just snaps together. It's just a matter of looking at it closely enough to understand how it was initially snapped together and how you can pry it apart. I think it's going to have something to do with these two little tabs right here. Let's see if I can get this to come out. Oh. I'm not seeing it right now, so there is one little screw on the top of the circuit board which holds a little cover on. Let's remove that and see if that reveals anything that I'm missing here. Okay, so now we see the RC controller, or the controller board for the car. And underneath that is the battery box. I'm just going to take this just off entirely because I kind of like it when my circuitry is exposed. Looks cool. Okay. Let's see. So I can clearly see that this is a separate module. I'm just trying to figure out how to get it out of the car without utterly destroying everything. But that might be the easier way to do it, to just cut the car apart. Because at the end of the day, these things are made out of very, very soft plastic, and it's nothing that just a, a little pair of clippers wouldn't go right through. I'm very, very tempted by that option right now. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to cut it out because I'm sure there's a more elegant way to get this out of here. And I'll probably see it as soon as we have this into two parts. But you'll benefit from me having done it this way. Or if you just want to get some aggression out, it's actually a lot of fun to tear these things apart. Okay. There we go. We've now detached the three main units of the car from each other. Now, this little motor is kind of a tight fit to get back out of the front. So we're going to cut that free too. Now an important thing to remember, which is detailed in the instructions, 
is we're actually going to be reversing the position of the steering in the blue in the um, in the art in our new Turtle Shell Racer RC car. So ultimately, you're going to have to reverse the polarity of the wires going to this front steering motor. Otherwise, when you try to turn left, the car will go right. We also now need to extract this rear drivetrain from what remains of the back of the car. To do that, you just need some sort of little pliers to push these two snaps together and then down. And that will allow it to push out of the remains of the shell of the car. Once again, you're going to kind of need to cut it free so you can get it off of the wires. But you know, that's a little destroyed plastic during creation here. Okay, so now we're left over with the guts of our car. We have the rear drive module, the front steering module, and the controller and battery box. We also have the original RC controller that came with the car, but we're not going to be modifying that. 